There is a belief among humans that evil do not born, it is created by society. What happens when society push you to your physical and mental limits? What will happen when that mental psyche breakdowns? You can understand this concept with Shamo, written by Izzy Hashimoto and illustrated by Akio Tanaka. Shamo is a villain ki jise humari society ne banaya hai. Ryu Narushima, a brilliant student with promising future destined to become elite in society. Lekin koi nahi janta what this pressure done to his mental state, not even his own parents. In fact, his parents were the main reason he lost his mind because they used to physically abuse him and control his life in extreme ways. So one day when he snaps, he killed his own father and mother in very brutal way in front of his little sister. In Japan, when there is a minor crime, it does not show his public face in the public. He believes that when he cuts out of the prison, so he can start his new life in this world. But in Ryu's case, he has shown his face in the media, which killed his respectable future in this world. Everybody knows Ryu Narushima is a parent killer. Ryu is a minor who is a jail ke jiga reformatory, bhej jata hai, which is like a disciplinary school for minor convicts. Where he become victim of abuse, physical harassment, and violated down to the bones. And no one doesn't come to help him, not even a warden. When he tries to fight back, he gets the punishment. This kind of behavior from people around him made Ryu psycho evil. Day by day, this prison may survive karne ke liye, Ryu become a violent beast. This is to do with the cow, Ward invited a karate teacher to teach kids karate and in the end killed Ryu. But Ryu learned karate with diligence and become very good in it. He used this karate in very brutal ways to survive this hell. Even he escaped death row which Ward placed on him. Now imagine, this is what happened in his prison in his house 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 in his house. Disciplinary school se bahar aane ke baad, Ryu cannot live a normal life due to everyone know who he is. Even though he already completed his time in disciplinary school, lekin dunia aaj bhi usse kinmal hi maanti hai. Nobody ever tried to understand him which make his chances to redeem himself to zero. So to survive in this cruel world, he got involved with Yakuza, fight with thugs to sharpen his karate skills and to earn money, he started working as a gigolo. And from here, his story of becoming a psychopath criminal starts. If you're still here or listening or watching this video, I'm sure you understand this. This story is not about a hero who overcome his tragedies and become a good person in the end. No, this is a story of a villain as its protagonist. After some time, Ryu Banryukai Karate Competition may participate karta hai with the help of some influential people and he managed to win in his weight category. Lekin, sirf apne opponent ke secret jaan kar or him blackmail kar. And audience who came to watch tournament, wo Ryu ke karate ko approve nahi karte due to his style is very violent for the sports. Now, Ryu want to fight with the champion of Banryukai Karate, Natao Sugawara, who is a prodigy in karate and never lost a fight. But when Ryu challenged him, he declined, saying, Mujhe se kya fayda hoga? Even master of Pan Rukai, Mochizoki, Ryu pe koi dhyan nahi deta. From here, Ryu ka obsession with Sugawara starts and he want to fight with him any cost. In manga, ye kabhi nahi bataya gaya, uske obsession ka karan kya hai? Agar mujhe puchho, I think Ryu sojta hai. Agar wo Sugawara, jo ek public hero hai, usse hara de, to shaya society usse accept kar le. So Sugawara ko trigger karne ke liye, he kidnapped his girlfriend and sexually assaulted her. Iske baad, rather than going to police, Sugawara decided to kill Ryu himself in the ring. After months of preparations, finally Ryu and Sugawara stand against each other in the ring and Ryu lost, lekin Sugawara could not kill him. So this time, Sugawara challenged Ryu for deathmatch in the old temple, where two men, one who dedicated his whole life to hone his skills and become respectable martial artist, and one who is outcasted by society, survive hell and become a criminal. They both fight with everything they have in their arsenal, but Sugawara always have upper hand. So Ryu decide to attack from behind, which can consider cheap shot. But if you ask me, this is a death match. So in the end, Natao Sugawara lost and become bedridden for life. Iske saath hi Ryu Narushima also lost something inside because Ryu kabhi bhi Natao ko marna aur aisa conclusion nahi chata tha. He just wanted to be his rival and recognized by him. Yahan tak story bahut hi achhe flow mein chalti hai and show us how society work in a dark way. Lekin iske baad series kafi unconsistent ho jati hai and lost its dark aspect. Main ye nahi keh raha ki iske baad kya ak bure hain. Lekin compared to first two arcs, the rest of the story look very different. Iska karan some dispute between Izzy Hashimoto and illustrated Aoki Tanaka. Despite all this, Shama is one of the best darkest martial arts manga you can read. 
which shows villain's point of view of this world and even some places it forces you to cheer for him and in the end this series also shows dark reality of our human society thank you everyone you know bhi yahan tak video dekha i really appreciate it if you like these type of videos you can check out my channel thanks for the support goodbye take care